Ooh, baby. Hello everyone and welcome back. So the last thing you guys saw me do was finish tearing apart the Zeal 1 to get it ready for all of the new parts. Um, so right now what I'm gonna be working on is upgrading the trunnions. So I'm actually going to be using the CAT trunnion kit. Um, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Comes with all of the trunnions, all the bearings, everything that you need to do that. Um, and basically I'm gonna be taking the rocker arm. So this is the stock rocker arms. I don't know if you guys can see a good visual here, but basically you're going to be removing the trunnions and then installing the new ones and getting those upgraded. I just want to stay in the sun where I find I know it's hard sometimes Pieces of peace in the sun's peace of mind I know it's hard sometimes Yeah, I think about the end just way too much But it's fun to fantasize All my enemies who wouldn't wish who I was But it's fun to fantasize I Oh, 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 I'm boring So I'm taking my time on my ride All right, everyone, so basically, it is officially time to install the new cam. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and show you guys what it looks like. And then we're gonna get right to installing today. All right, so here is the official cam unboxed. Um, and Texas Speed was actually kind enough to surprise me with my own logo on the cam. So this is what that looks like. It turned out so sick, even though you're not gonna see that. It's just a little special touch that I think is so cute. I know you guys are gonna ask me what cam I got. Um, Texas Speed custom spec'd it for me to work with the stock converter, but also give me some chop, so at least it sounds better than stock, um, because I didn't want any of that drive-through surge um, or anything like that. I didn't wanna go too, too aggressive where we had to switch out the stock converter. Um, and I wanted to still be able to hear some chop on it. So that is what we made here. And I will also put a picture in of my specific cam specs in this video. easy to say we have a list of people that we would take a bullet for them a bullet for you a bullet for everybody in this room but they don't seem to see many bullets coming through see many bullets coming through all right guys a little update camshaft is officially in i just got that in as you guys saw so now what i'm going to be working on is the here we have the camshaft retainer plate so i'm going to put that on right now torque it down um and then we have the lower crank gear and this is the new camshaft gear. Um, so we're gonna install all of that right now and then we'll continue on from there. And of course, for the cam, I am using the ARP cam bolts. All right, so as you guys saw, the camshaft is in. Um, I just put in the bolts for the camshaft retainer plate. For this retainer plate, it is 11 foot pounds. So we're gonna torque at that. I have my electric torque wrench and we're gonna torque everything down. Okay, so now with the cam plate torqued down on there, I'm gonna put on the lower crank gear and then the new cam gear. And this is what the new cam gear looks like um, because I am deleting the stock cam phaser. So doing the whole VVT delete. But now you guys, I'm gonna work on the DOD or AFM delete, whatever you'd like to call it, it's the same thing. But basically what that does is turn off some of the cylinders, basically just for fuel efficiency. So we are going to be deleting that. So basically that you just take these plugs and we are going to plug these holes. I think I'm gonna get a rubber like mallet and then tap them in. All right, so what you guys see me doing with this rag right here, I basically just press this in there because I really, I don't trust myself like ever and I don't want to drop one of these into the engine that would 
really, really suck. So I'm just using that to basically catch anything if it falls. I tried to push it in there pretty tight, so we shouldn't have any, any issues with that. All right, last one going in. All right, guys, it has been a minute, but I am back. I actually left for a few days to go to Vegas, to go to SEMA, um, and just got back today. And I've actually also been waiting on an oil pump to finish this build. Um, so I ended up ordering one from K-Tech, which I'm gonna unbox right now. All right, so here's the oil pump. Oh, wow. All right, so here we have the new oil pump and um for those asking no mine was not bad on the car but i just feel like when i have the car apart right now and i have the ability to swap things out for aftermarket and to upgrade then i'm going to so that is why i went with this one and this was like a last minute thing too um i tried to order everything ahead but once i got down to it i got the oil pump out i was like dang i should actually upgrade this so i had to wait a few days so that also set me back but here we have the new oil pump I'm taking my time on my ride. Taking my time on my right, so now it's just zeroing right now i'm gonna put it to 18 foot pounds all right i need a 13 13 All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be working on now that I have the oil pump on. Um, so I actually just ordered a new oil pump valve wire. Um, and this is what plugs into that. So here's what that looks like. Just got a new one and then gonna plug this in and then gonna work on getting the timing and then gonna work on getting the new timing cover on. And this is gonna replace the stock one because we are doing the VVT delete. We're getting rid of the cam phaser. As you guys saw, I put the new cam gear on. Um, and this is the new timing cover that I'm gonna be running. Ow! Okay, so this is what the back looks like. And then here's the front. And then I'm going to put these bolts back in. All right, everyone, so the new VVT delete cover is all put together um, and ready to go. I am just waiting for the new crank seal. Goes right here um, to put this back on the car, but while I wait for that, I'm going to put the new lifters and lifter trays in. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. It's officially time to install the new lifters on the Camaro and the lifter trays. So as you guys see, these are just the GM lifter trays. I can put in the part number in the comments if you guys want it. And then here are the Johnson lifters that I am upgrading to. Let me unbox these really quick for you guys to see. So this is what the inside looks like. And then let's take one and I'll take one out. The smell is just so good. Let's get these installed. Lift your tray and take, these are soaking. So this is what the lifters, lifter tray looks like, all loaded in there. And then gonna put these in the car. Ooh, baby. Wow. All right, so we have some more. Uh, all right, so. Uh, Our kid doesn't have nothing. Yeah, you get your you're really deprived, Autumn. Really deprived. It's super, you know, like, whatever, but yeah, but... <laughs> this one's got a ton of shoes, too. Yeah, well, I don't know, girls, you know, they like shoes. And I have probably like 10 pairs, and I think I have a lot. Yeah, that's, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right. All right, so now I'm just gonna take the bolts, put them back in, the lifter trays, 
and then I will torque them down here in a second. And then for these, it says 85 inch pounds. I'm gonna do that. And please don't judge me, you guys. I don't have a smaller torque wrench. All right, torquing these down. All right guys, so as you guys saw, um, lifter trays are torqued down. So now I'm gonna move on to finally doing the VVT delete cover. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so finally got the new seal. This is what it looks like, just straight from GM. Bam. So this goes right in, blah. All right, so now you guys, that I have the crank seal in, I'm gonna start putting on the silicone on the cover. Fully siliconed, I'm gonna put it back on the car. So there's a little pins that help line it up. Eighteen foot pounds. So basically, I got the oil pan up, took quite a bit of people, but got it up. So now it's just about bolting it up. Me. I've been thinking too much. Help me. I've been thinking 